Kevin, kind of another grinded out type win, but you guys got three in a row. Just, what do you think was the difference in the second half to pull away from them and, and secure it? Uh, we defended better in that second half. They end up shooting 43, 44% from the field after being, after shooting 50 most of the night. So, um, what? No, I, I thought Nick was going to cut me off. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I think we just guarded up better and he was able to get whatever we want on the offensive end. We moved the ball pretty nicely in that second half. And then you guys are on track to get TJ back in the next game or two. Obviously, it's, he's got Russ to kick off. It's probably a minutes restriction, but just where do you think he can help you guys, even in limited capacity? Yeah, I mean, we expect then that um, come out there and find his rhythm, get his legs up under him. You know, it's going to take a couple couple weeks. Well, it'll take some time. However long it takes, we're we going to support him. Um, but having his presence out there is going to be huge. I'm happy for him. He's been away from the game for so long. So um, we don't want to put too many, too much, you know, too high expectations on him. But, you know, we're excited to have him back. Kevin, you're 44 of your last 64. Do you remember a stretch as far as from the field where you've been this efficient? Yeah. A couple times. Um, I had three, four game stretches where I feel like I made every shot. They come and go. You know what I'm saying? I can't rely on, um, I can't go into games expecting that, I, you know, if I don't put the work in, prepare the right way, that I'll make every shot. So I can't get comfortable right now that I'm shooting the ball solid. So I just got to keep it going, keep keep preparing the right, right way and keep my mind in the right place. We were talking about it before the last game and you were joking, hey, sometimes you, you can have bad shooting. Uh, nights warming up and start rolling. Is there something consistently in the last few games that you feel when you're getting the ball and you're just putting up shots right now? Oh, I'm just playing carefree basketball. I mean, I think that's uh, that's the best way to play. Sometimes when you want to win too much, you know, you get in your own way, you distract yourself a bit. Um, you worry about the results too much. So I just try to focus on each process, each possession, and also move on. Um, to the next possession, rather, you know, regardless of if it's a, you know, the previous possession is good or bad, try to move on and keep stacking up good possessions for myself. So, um, you know, I'm trying to stay mentally, uh, you know, you know, above everything and just keep grinding out every single possession. Every rep means something to me, so I got to stick with that. How important has Jacques been in, in? emphasizing the here and now, this game, this possession? Uh, he's been huge, you know, just keeping it simple. Um, we know we have high expectations for our team, but the process is more important than, uh, you know, than the end result. So each day matters, like I just said, and Jock has been preaching that um, since he got the job. And, you know, as a player, you know, you like to simplify the game. You like to simplify what you're doing, and that's what he's been doing this whole time. And, you know, uh, Guys been learning on the fly, but also picking up things quick and applying it quickly. So um, Josh was doing a great job for us. Joe kind of got going today, you know, four or six from three, hit a big one down the stretch off that Royce rebound. Just, you know, difficult one shooter and it's been in slump lately. What's your message just been and the team's message been to him lately? Uh, just keep shooting. Um, this is a different role for Joe. I'm sure he's been starting. He was starting before I got here, right? He was. Just, you know, so it's, he went from starting and coming off the bench a little bit. So it's an adjustment period, you know, and obviously coming off an injury and stuff like that. So we got a deep team at that two guard. And um, sometimes it's tough to figure out what your rhythm is on each night. Um, you know, but tonight he came out, let it fly um, with, you know, confidence and was able to get some, you know, great defensive players for us as well. And, you know, defense ties into your offense. So when you're getting stops, you can get out and run, get some easy buckets. That's what happened with Joe. And, we're confident that he'll keep, uh, you know, he keeps shooting with confidence. You guys are the number seven defense since the game against Portland. Uh, what areas do you think you guys have improved? The first and, game against Portland? Uh, the second one, I guess, right? So, yeah, the one on uh, November 17th. So, yeah, the second one. Um, where do you think you guys have improved and, like, what actions do you still need to improve on? Uh, um, offensive rebound, I mean, we're a small team when you think about it. You know, sometimes we play three, four guard lineups and, you know, a lot of teams are, a lot of teams, you know, uh, got tall two guards, wing players. And, you know, so sometimes we play great defense and we end up giving up a possession on the offensive board. Uh, I don't think that's a lack of energy and effort. I just think sometimes the other team is just bigger than us. But um, 
We're making team shoot tough shots over us. I think that's been uh, impacting our defense as we're keeping the ball in front. We're not, you know, letting too much penetration, um, you know, let, letting too many guys get in our paint and kick out and have options. So um, that's always good. I, I feel like um, you got to make a tough shot over us. And uh, if we continue to do that, the, the tide will continue to turn for us on the defensive side. Kevin, you guys are playing small consistently. I'm just wondering what the challenge is when that's the first thing that's on an opposing team scouting report is he's either going to play small, let's attack them on the glass, let's attack them on the paint. What kind of challenge does that pose for you guys? Uh, it's, it's a huge challenge. Um, you know, it's going to test us as a group collectively. We got to all be in there to rebound, be in there to help on drives and you know, so we, that means we got to do everything as a team. And, uh, we, you know, a lot, of guy, a lot of teams have one guy that can control the boards, you know, one guy that can defend and, and, and you know, do this thing. But we, we all got to do everything as collective. And that's making us a tighter group and, you know, making us more connected. We're communicating a little bit more because of it. So uh, it's only going to help us.